morning, everybody. This is Tikosh. He's going to read to you today. The three little Cajun pigs. Let us look at it. I got my spectacles on so I can see better for you. You like my boy back at Tibaki. Tibaki. The three little pigs, written by Mike Artel, illustrated by Jim Harris. So, you know where you live. You in South Louisiana, right? So in South Louisiana, where great gators grow big, live three Cajun pigs and an old mama pig. Them pigs was named Trosclair and Thibodeau too. Ulysses was the oldest. They called him Boo. One morning, their mama don't give them some food and tell them the news that don't make him feel good. It's time for you boys find your own place to stay. I think that you better start looking today. Go build you a house of your own, mama say. You'll sleep there tonight if you start right away. So three little pigs pack up all their clothes, kiss mama goodbye, then follow their nose. They walk for a while, then ten grass layers slay. I'll build me a house, I'll do it today. I build it so fast, just like you never saw. I'll do it right now, if I had me some straw. Then just up the road by the bayou they see, a big wooden sign that been nailed to a tree. Ten pigs read the words on the sign and they say, look here, this straw free, you can take it away. It's free straw, everybody. Go on, Trosclair. I will catch up you to you. I'll build a straw house before you can count the two. Oh, Boo roll his eyes and he make them big sigh. And Thibodeau say, you look angry, Boo. Why? Straw is okay if you're making them bad, but when you build walls, you need something instead. Houses for bigs got to be plenty strong in case that them gator come crawling along. Then just up the road, guess what both them pigs see? Somebody been cutting some limbs off a tree. And there was a sign that they hauled these away. And Thibodeau shop, this my lucky day. He Thibodeau getting them stick for his house. He grabbed all them limbs, starting working so fast. His house halfway finished, but too much time passed. Ulysses, he started thinking, them boys got it wrong. If you build a house, then it gotta be strong. Ulysses shake his head and then he walks some more. And soon that big C just what he looking for. A whole bunch of bricks was piled next to a sign that say, need these bricks? You can have them, that's fine. All those bricks, Ulysses, he the small one, he old. Boo clear off a spot for his house made of brick. He built that house strong, he made them more thick. And while he was working, who comes skipping by? Them two other pigs, they laugh till they cry. Them bricks sure look heavy. What's wrong with you, Boo? How come you don't use straw or sticks like we do? Boo frown and he say, when that gator come by, he'll knock your house down with his tail if he try. And speaking of the gators, not too far away, somebody was watching them pig, little pigs play. Oh, Claude, that big gator was in the bayou. He see them three pigs, he watch what they do. Claude crawl out the water and hide in the grass and sit there and wait till them first two pigs pass. Then Claude jump in front of them pigs and he say, I think that it's time for some couchon de lait. Oh, my child, that's some good food right there, yeah. Look, that big gator jump, big gator jump on him. Got him, for sure. Oh, Claude start to chase the first pig that he saw, Trosclair. He's the one with the house made of straw. Trosclair, he run home, then shut the door tight. He pull closed them curtains and turn off the light. Oh, piggy Claude, with that big gator smile. Could I come inside your house for a while? That's when Trosclair shout, no! I won't let you in, not by all them hairs that I got on my chin. Hmm, growl old Claude in that deep ghetto voice. Now, Piggy, you left me with no other choice. Oh, Claude hiss and he puff. He make his face frown. He wiggle a little and turn himself around. And whack, when that gator done flip his tail hard, that straw house go flying all over the yard. Lucy. Flying all over the yard. 
Trotsky there look at Claude and he cried, you so big, you just a mean bully while you pick on us pig. Ha <laughs> ha, oh Claude la, mon ami don't get mad. Between you and me, that straw house was some bad. Then cross Claire, he turned and he quick as a mouse, he ran over where Thibodeau built his stick house. Ooh, run up fast. When Thibodeau see old Claude chasing cross Claire, he said, hurry up, you'll be safe here, mon frere. They run in that stick house, lock all the doors, then peek out to see if Claude coming some more. Oh, piggy, said Claude with that big ear to smile. Could I come inside for your house for a while? Them little pigs shout, no. We won't let you in, not by all them hairs we got on our chin. Okay, say old Claude, you can have it your way, but I don't like working this hard every day. Old Claude hiss, he puff, he make his face frown, he wiggle a little and he turn himself around. Ow whack! When that gator don't flip his tail hard, that stick house go flying all over the yard. Look, he whack it again with his tail. That all them pigs needed to scare them to death. They jump up and they run, plumb out of their breath. Now, inside his house, Boo was busy for truth. He had a big pot, was making a roux. He stirred that roux good, cause you Lucy done learn, you gotta keep stirring or the roux gonna burn. That's true. Then out the yard, you lease, hear all that noise. He think to himself, now what's wrong with them boys? He opened the door, but before he could fuss, them other pigs cried, boo, oh, Claude after us. Ulysses slammed the door, he turned the big lock, and just when he did that, he heard a soft knock. Oh, piggies, said Claude with that big ear a smile, could I come inside for your house for a while? Them little pigs shout, no, we won't let you in, not by all them hairs we got on our chin. So what? That old gator done flip his tail hard, but this time, the house don't fall down in the yard. Again and again, Claude done hit some more. Then he gotta stop, cause his tail getting sore. I see there's a chimney, that's how I'll get in. And then I'll get all them hairs on your chin. Cross let's start to whine, what are we gonna do? And Tibbet will cry, he will eat us for true. Who shouted his brothers, get up off your seat. Bring me some wood, we're gonna turn up the heat. Outside they hear Claude on that roof scratching around. He don't climb so good, he keep falling down. But finally he climb all the way to the top, he jump in the chimney, then let go and drop. Now Claude, he don't know about that roof in the pot, but as he was falling, he start getting hot. Oh, Claude can't slow down, he think this ain't good. If I could get out of this chimney, I would. Look, the old Claude climbing the roof, and he's in the chimney. Woo! Look at here. Look at here, kiddos. Look, the old Claude, he's stuck in the chimney. He in a pickle, yeah. A little bit of a pickle. But it was too late, Claude. Big tail hit the roof. And y'all, when it did, Claude don't know what to do. Aye, shout old Claude. Someone help me out this week. My tail's burning up. Won't you please stop the heat? Them three little pigs know what Claude tried to do, but they figure he learned a lesson for true. You leash run and grab a big lid for that pot, then put it on top so it won't be so hot. Ooh, he's in a pickle. Claude's tail came out first. The pigs had to laugh cause that gator was toasted on his bottom half. He walked out the door, kind of funny and slow, he head down the road, the pigs watch him go. Y'all have a nice day, Trotsky called with, call with a smile. Then Thibodeau laughed, don't come back for a while. Big brother Boo got his arms folded tight. He asked, where y'all planning to sleep tonight? The mother pigs, they start scratching their heads. They ain't got no house. They ain't got no bed. You least still in pigs, y'all can stay here tonight. But we got to go build both your house right. The very next day, Thibodeau and Trosclair done build the best houses you've seen anywhere. You at least show them how they can build that house strong in case that old gator should come back along. And speaking of that gator, way down the bayou, a gator we know for sure hurting for truth. He got him a nice pack on his derriere. 
and where them pigs live, he ain't going back there. Look that old gator. He got some ice on him, yeah. Now, some of this story is true and some not. And which part is which, y'all? I guess I forgot. But take my advice, because I know that's true. When gators come around, Shaq, just make a roof. I like a roof. Okay, boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed this time. I had a great time reading to you. I will see you next time on the Bayou.